All right, ladies and gentlemen, Deadpool's newest seasonal uniform is here. I decided to pick it up and I got it to Mythic. So what we're gonna be doing today is taking a look at how he performs when compared to the timeline meta characters that we have to fight on a daily basis. The reason why the very first thing I wanna do with Deadpool is take him into timeline battle is because the last time they gave Deadpool a uniform, two uniforms rather, for the 30th anniversary, they made some changes to this character that indicated that they wanted him to be a PVP character by giving him more HP than ever before and then giving him iframe ignore. And they decided to keep that trend going with this latest uniform. So he still has the iframe ignore on his first skill. And then on top of that, they increased his HP from 20% to 30% more in this newest uniform. And also he got 10% more chain hit damage with a couple of other tweaks to his skills. His skills overall look really, really good, but I wanna see how he pans out in timeline battle. I know majority of you guys don't really care about timeline battle, but because I have him with a PVP CTP, I wanna see if he's actually viable there first. If not, then I'll swap over and test him with a PVE build. This is the leadership we're gonna be using for this video. So 60% attack and defense with debuff removal. We might swap Colossus for Hela at some point to see if um, Deadpool performs better or worse against heroes and then when we're up against villains we'll rock with colossus that being said let's jump into timeline and see if deadpool can actually be a staple because emma frost and adam warlock are two of the most powerful timeline battle characters right now and this is a very typical team we're not going to do anything with echo because we want to see how deadpool performs but we want to at least give deadpool a fighting chance because his skills are gonna be on cooldown. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> All right, cool. He was looking pretty good, but ultimately he lost the Thanos and this is a Thanos with, what is that? A CDP of regeneration, okay. We're gonna run this one more time and then we're gonna find another opponent and see how well he does. I really want to fight some Adam Warlocks and some Emma Frosts. Maybe even some Spider-Mans. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, he looks like... Because he doesn't have any damage reduction in his kit. He just doesn't tank well enough. Alright, so with Molecule Man, I don't think we need to give him too much startup time. So we're just going to put him out and see how he does. Really? Wow, he's actually struggling to kill Molecule, man. This is actually crazy. Deadpool. Deadpool just lost to Molecule, man. You have got to be kidding me. I didn't think any character that was viable for PvP could lose to um, Molecule, man, at this point, but... Okay. He won there. I don't know what happened this time versus last time, but if you're losing to Maliku, man, even once, I don't know, man. I just, <laughs> all those helicopters. Wow. Okay, so he got. Yo, look at the heal. Look at the. Wow, he's actually tanking. I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. How did he. What? Bro, how did he die to Molecule Man one time and then just wipe the, the enemy team the other time? Like, it doesn't make sense. The consistency just isn't registering. Bro, hold on. Hold on. No. It, bro, but this time he just, like, straight up killed him. No, I gotta see this, bro. The helicopters are mad funny. Wow. I don't know what happened, guys. I promise you I'm not touching the screen. I'm not doing anything. I'm just watching, bro. Like, okay, this time he died. But he took out Adam on the way out. I don't understand. Like, he has some spikes, but then it's just downhill. All right, so Colossus... Insta clap.
Come on, Deadpool, do something, bro. Don't just die like a waste, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe he needs way more startup than Deadpool. Show me what you got, my guy. All right. Wow. He actually shredded Thanos. I think he needs about 10 seconds of startup time before he can really like pop off. Oh my gosh. That sucks. Let's see how this goes. We got 10 seconds of uh Oof. All right, Deadpool. Let's see what you got. Man, drop the bomb. Please, man, drop the Santa bag and uh the Santa bag actually does a lot of damage. It seems like the only time he can kill Thanos is when he uses his fifth skill. Yeah, his one skill just doesn't do enough damage. Wow, like... Yeah, when he puts out that, uh... <laughs> that fifth skill of his, that's when he actually pops off. I don't think he should be struggling this much when he has type advantage, though, so that, that kind of sucks. Is he gonna die? No, he actually won. Yeah, it's not as consistent as I would like it to be. All right, let's see how he does against Sentry, Emma Frost, and Hela. Can he one tap? Oof, he's about to get one tap. Oof, okay. Oof. All right, so he does. <laughs> he does well. <laughs> <laughs> he does well against Sentry, but then Gwenpool was out there just getting him killed. I'm just so sad, bro. My biggest concern with Deadpool against Emma Frost is Deadpool has a lot of residual hits, which means there's a high probability that Emma Frost is going to reflect that damage back in his face. Exactly what I said. <laughs> bro, I pretty much just, I figured that was going to happen. Ouch. That hurt. All right, boys, let's see how we do against Dr. Doom and Sentry. I'm just going to put him out right away and have him fight the Molecule Man. Like, come on, man. If you're dying to Molecule Man's, like, that will piss me off. Like, just like, just, just bomb Dr. Doom, too. Come on. Come on. Hit him with your one. Use your one, bro. You have iframe ignore, bro. Iframe ignore on your one, bro. Like, holy shit, this man is just... He was, like, just wasting time instead of fighting Dr. Doom. Like, it's really annoying. Let's see how this man does. Come on, man. Bro, stop taking so much bloody damage from Molecule, man. I guess I should just take, um... I don't know why he's not using his one skill. Like, I don't know why he's not using his one skill. Yeah, at least this time he used his one skill. And then he died. All right, cool. All right, boys. So I decided to put Red She-Hulk on the team. Since Colossus wasn't doing anything against Molecule, man. Wow. Yo, Molecule, man, doing so much bloody damage to him is not even funny. Um... That sucked. I don't know what to tell you. Besides the fact that uh, Deadpool looks like he's garbage. Looks like they gave him another garbage uniform for PvP. <laughs> for PvP at least. You know, maybe for PvE he's significantly better. Bro, look at this. He's just running into Molecule Man instead of using his one skill, which has iframe ignore. Is he bugged? I don't know. Bro, if you lose to Molecule Man. If you freaking lose to Molecule Man, bro. All right, let's see what Deadpool can do. This man just does not want to use his one skill. I, I don't know why. At least the five hits really hard. But, wow, he's about to die before Thanos even like hits him one time. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if the best he can do is kill a molecule, man, bro. <laughs> yeah, you got, you're funny, bro. You're, 
need a PvP character, bro. Holy. Let's see if he can take out Arthur. So let's let's give him a chance. Bro. Bruh. I was gonna say he did like no damage with all of his fifth skill, but he did so You're joking. Wow. So he actually killed the Thanos, but then Emma Frost countered him with the reflect again. I was really hoping that he would be able to, you know, be the answer to Emma Frost and Adam Warlock, but he just doesn't have their numbers. Sorry. <laughs> he got his ass killed. All right, so looking at this, I'm honestly disappointed in his PvP performance. I thought I could get way more out of him, especially with Echo lead, right? Maybe he would do a little bit better against maybe the Silver Surfers and the Sentries with Hela on the team. All right, let's see how this goes. Hopefully, he's able to win with Hela. All right, let's go. All right, one shot. Lots of reflect action going on. Okay, he one-shotted. All right, so maybe this is his team. Maybe this is his team, boys. Maybe now he got the numbers. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Wow, so he... What? <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Is this the way? Is this the way? Let's find out. We got to run that back. And then... We got to think about it logically. Like, how many people are running a full hero team, though? Right? That's that's what you got to think about. How many people are running a full hero team? This is a very rare, rare sight. You'd only see something like this in the Lion's Conquest. Oof. Oof. Yeah, so I guess if you put him in a team with like Hela and um, Echo, then he does well. Yeah, because he just like one top the Spider-Man. Before Spider-Man can even like jump into his fort and then use his 4-5 combo, Deadpool kills him. That's something, I guess. But again, I'm not completely wowed by this because I know what timeline generally looks like. There's a couple heroes and there's a couple villains. And the villains are just shredding him. The Thanos is the Doctor Dooms. They're just going to completely annihilate him. So this is not a plausible strategy. So unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to pull my mighty authority off of him. And try him in PvE and see how well he performs.